Hi YouTube, welcome to your car care companion. This video is about how the fuel system works. The fuel system manages how the fuel gets from the gas tank to the fuel injectors and ultimately into the combustion chamber at the right pressure and precisely at the right time. The following slides will cover each of the components that are found in a typical fuel system. First up is the fuel cap. The fuel cap has basically three jobs. One, to keep the fuel system sealed, to maintain pressure in the fuel system for proper operation, and to keep dangerous fumes from escaping into the atmosphere. It also keeps contaminants from entering into the gas tank and clogging the fuel, fuel ejectors. The next component in the fuel system after the gas cap is usually the gas tank, at least as far as the fuel is concerned. The gas tank is where the gas is stored. It's where the fuel sending unit to tells you how much fuel you have left is. And in vehicles with electrical fuel pumps, oftentimes the fuel pump is inside the fuel tank. Being inside the fuel tank submerged in that gasoline actually helps keep that fuel pump lubricated and cool. Fuel tanks are typically, typically made out of aluminum, um, other types of, aluminum, of metal alloy, or plastic. The fuel sending unit. Here is an example of a fuel sending unit with a float that records uh, how much fuel you currently have in the tank and sends that to your gas gauge on the dashboard. And here next to it is the electrical fuel, fuel pump that goes inside this particular style of sending unit. The sending unit is usually inside the gas tank um, and it submerges uh, the pump in the gas and it has a float that monitors the fuel level. So the fuel pump. The fuel pump's job is basically to pump fuel through the fuel system. It gets the fuel out of the fuel tank, pumps it up through the fuel lines and to the fuel injectors. This is required to power the combustion chambers. Now there are basically two types of fuel pump. There's the electrical type of fuel pump that we discussed earlier that goes in the fuel tank. And there's also a mechanical configuration where, if you see here on the right, uh, it, it does a little arm. And this flange here is bolted to the engine block. And there's a cammed wheel inside that turns and cranks this arm and pumps the fuel pump just like you would pump a water pump at a well. It just rotates uh, concentrically and it goes in and out and in and out and pumps this fuel pump just like you would pump a handle. Now the fuel pump sends the fuel up the fuel lines. There are two fuel lines uh, in a typical fuel system. There's the supply line indicated by this green arrow and this goes through the fuel filter and to the fuel injectors. Uh, once it goes through the fuel injectors, it'll go through the fuel pressure regulator. And once it reaches the maximum pressure allowed for that system, the fuel pressure regulator, which is basically a vacuum actuated valve, will open and allow the fuel to flow back through the return line here, indicated by the red arrow, and back into the gas tank. We'll take a closer look at that later. Next up are the fuel injectors. The fuel injectors spray fuel into the engine's combustion chambers. This fuel is mixed with air and then compressed and burned when the spark plugs ignite. Now a normally spraying fuel injector will spray a, a nice even mist, something similar to this example here, of fuel. Now if your fuel injectors uh, for some reason get clogged because your fuel filter is dirty or you have a a problem with your screen on your fuel pump and some contaminant has gotten into the fuel injector and clogged the little holes, you'll get either no spray or a sporadic drippy uh, spray that is not a fine even mist. That will lead to problems with fuel economy and engine power. So here's a component we mentioned earlier at the end of the fuel rack and this is the fuel pressure regulator and it allows the fuel pressure to go so high and no higher. 
some modulate like like this one here that has an evacuum line associated with it that's associated with the diaphragm inside so the pressure is not static and it allows the pressure to vary with the, with the demand of fuel from the fuel injectors but once that pressure has reached its max and it tries to exceed that the fuel pump tries to exceed that this little regulator will open a valve and allow the fuel to go back to the gas tank. So here's a diagram of the entire fuel system that is in typical fuel injected vehicles. Um, and here's how it starts. You pour gas into your car or you pump it from the gas station. Here's the gas cap and it goes into the fuel tank. In the fuel tank is submerged the fuel pump and the sending unit that will tell you how much gas you have. And you see here we have a little over three quarters of a tank. Then the fuel pump will pump the fuel through the supply line to the fuel injectors. Then it goes by the fuel injectors into the pressure regulator, which is controlled by a vacuum line. And once the pressure, the maximum pressure for that set system has been reached, this valve will open allowing fuel to bypass the valve and go back through the supply line and back into the fuel tank.